what's going on youtube welcome back we are finally back with some youtube content and some madden 22 content um and in this video we're gonna be playing the two-time belt winner no up next in friday night football so if you don't know by now i post these friday night football tournaments that are hosted by mutthead pretty much what they are, are like you know weekly or you know every other week 1k tournaments uh winner gets all and you know this is a 32 man bracket filled with sweats this particular tournament happened to be non-escape which i'm a very very fond of um i you know i'm really not the greatest um you know playing defense when escape is uh, a threat it saw john beast what he did to me like and i guess it goes to everyone right you know escape is definitely the most broken ability in this game ea and you know mudhead they've been thinking about it um ea i guess you could say they upped the ap made it where you could have an 18 ap qb let me know if you want some gameplay with that guys um but yeah enough talking let's finally jump into the gameplay um i'm gonna be rocking 335 wide aka 46 uh defensive playbook i have an ebook out on that if you need that link will be in the description now offense i'm gonna be running my raiders tour uh, mini scheme on that dropping very soon and as you see i am on my host right now so um, my host west coast host noah on the east coast i see right here leapfrog early noah you know at this time of the year i think he's just trying to have some fun he slapped on leapfrog he's running trips still like i said this is a non-escape tourney i don't know if i have his abilities out but you see right here ted hendrix acrobat raiders sim team 98 speed six foot seven almost went crazy on that out route to evan ingram and i played no actually a couple times this year none were in the mcs a few mudhead leagues a couple of friday night footballs and smaller tournaments the last time we actually played he got the best of me as right here we actually play very very good defense kind of have a sleepy user i should have jumped out to the left side earlier and noah is a you know he's just he's not like systematic at all he's definitely a freestyler and that's a noah type of play right there you know just somehow some way that guy got open at the end of the play and he made the proper read right here he's running this qb power and trust me i had gap shoots for that i have gap shoots for that um you know the base the inside zone all those types of runs you know i'm very very f uh, familiar with and know how to shoot the gap all that info is in my ebook right here he's going f literal five wide he motions his running back out he played really good defense and you know we're gonna cause a throwaway right here almost ends up being a sack but i feel like i'm a good matchup for noah i feel like every time we play it's a really really good game and you know i feel like i play very well against him and he plays very well against me but guys if you didn't know where i've been at i've been you know kind of taking my time um resting up a little bit but we are now full you know all gears ahead for the youtube grind this phase one contest is coming to a close and you know it's time to grind for it um if you guys can i have a link down below if you want to vouch for me help your boy get into phase clan um or you know be seen and recognized better go click that vouch link it's free to do you could do it every one vouch every hour and you know it is just like the best way to support me and helping me and get into phase it's right here big fourth down and 13 guys um i play coverage defense he has no post up so you know with escape artists being uh not allowed in this tournament you would think people would have post ups and that's where his some of his ap goes to cooper cup deep out elite slotomatic and he just torches nitrate lane just a great play you know he had two man beating routes i had to choose one to user i decided to go with a post and he decides to hit me with a crosser i definitely thought i was going to be there just so happened to not be and noah goes up 7-0 early so like i said guys i am in the raiders offensive playbook you're going to be seeing a lot of bunch trips tight end bunch tight end uh, and tight and right here noah sends the goons early one thing about noah is he loves to send the heat and he has a very very good user um i believe that was xavian howard um i don't a keep to leave maybe yeah that looks like a keep to leave on the pressure and both guys just came in free uh he he said he had hard flats early he had a user on the right side he was pretty much just guarding the corner out himself just just great defense you know and you know it was my first play of the game i wasn't expecting that um and he ends up you know just playing really good defense right here though we do not need escape to get what like 15 yards 14 yards right there um you know just like that back on a third and ten so nothing really happened let's convert on these you know potential next two downs right here flipping the bunch sipping the punch i actually call the play i'm not very too you know good at calling um i'm probably gonna take this play and completely trash it take it out the arsenal the crosser with the hitch it's just not a it's just not a play for me you know i do not like that play it's not my setup uh you know i gotta run things that i'm familiar running in right here verticals low ball wheel route 
hate it love it it's in the game for a reason i go to it crucial fourth down um if i get stopped right there it might you know it might be a flood for noah but we end up getting it you know i know you, you could call that lucky you could call it whatever um it is you know in the game it's open technically i'm not too happy of it but you know if it is in the game i'm gonna abuse it and you know you guys can too so like if there's a, any type of wheel route at this point if you don't know someone mans it up just low ball it precision inside and click on hold y you will 100 percent catch it um there may be a low ball inaccurate here or there but you know most of the time it is consistent you see all the pros doing it and you see me doing it right there fourth down in 19 or whatever it was i believe it was like a fourth yeah it was a fourth and 19 i want to say so huge conversion huge dot and just like that we're tied in right here guys he goes to a run i'm not prepared for the counter and he ends up getting quite a bit of yards um gets all the way down to the 46 yard line and another thing about Noah is he loves to go no huddle. Right here, he's actually not going to call a play. He's going to let it go to the two minute. Uh, he's going to let it go to the second quarter. Uh, he's re really good, you know, on defense. He's really good with the clock. He's a really good runner. Just you know, um, that's that's what you're going to expect when you play Noah. He's going to have uh, the time of possession definitely on his hands. See right here, he goes to the counter again, leapfrog to the 46 yard line, another five yards, and once more he goes no huddle. So. This is definitely not the pace I want to be playing at. I definitely want to dictate the pace. Right here, he goes base. And, you know, he doesn't get that many yards, but he's still at positive yards, uh, which basically right here is going to set up at third and inches. So, um, like I said, you know, I'm playing at his pace right now. I'm not in the proper gap shooting forms. I haven't even really been able to stop the pass. So, you know, he's definitely moving the ball at ease. Um, right here, he goes run again. He did a couple fake hot routes. And, you know, I guess it tricked me. The fake hot routes always get me. I feel like uh, I definitely thought he was passing or, you know, I was prepared for the pass. As right here, we are now in gap shooting form. We finally shoot the gap. Look at Bernard Pollard. That is my user. Um, you know, I'm going to get Sean Taylor when I have enough coins. That one AP Acrobat is just too good. But Bernard Pollard, if you've been watching my Twitch streams, my, been watching my weekly league streams, he's been making crazy good plays for me. You know, he has insane block shooting for the run. His insane finesse move if you want to put him out with your outside linebackers and wide. He is just a really good safety. You know, he's 99 speed on all theme teams. Highly suggest you using him. Right here, he flips twice. And, you know, my defense is all messed up. He has uh, this triangle route, this flat route wide open. And, you know, even though it was a second 14, now it's a third and one. And this is just Noah for you, man. He's going to make life hard on you. He's going to audible around. He's going to give you that Raiders tour, I believe he's running. Right here, a motion to the right side. Justin Jefferson. We shoot the gap. And we have bad stick work. We click, dive, tackle, premature. And, you know, he has leapfrog too. So, you know, even when I, me diving, it's going to be tough because he has leapfrog. And leapfrog is a decent ability for 1 AP, I believe. Um, if you just want to have fun, go slap it on. And excuse me, guys. I do not think he is in Raiders. It looks like he's in Patriots. Right here, we just easily shoot that gap. Um, that looked like the U-Trips base. So, so far, so good. You know, we get ball at half. It looks like we may be getting ball last to end this, you know, half. Um, even though, you know, I'm not the most comfortable on offense, at least versus Noah's defense. His defense is phenomenal. He's going to motion out Eric Dickerson to the right side. He played great defense again. And, you know, even without escape, Randall Cunningham is 98 speed on all theme teams powered up. He's able to get like five, six yards right there. Kind of frustrating, but, you know, it could be way worse. He could have escape. He could have even maybe scored a touchdown right there, taking it to the right side of the field. Huge third and six right here. We are in a little bit of cover for defense and i want you guys to peep max crosby on this play so essentially i'm sending three with two contains so you know even um him not having to escape i do not want him to be able to move around in the pocket at all and look at money max get into the money i was not letting him take off by any means and that is why right there post up is a necessity you could pretty much call that an a gap i want to say that was like a three second shed sack you could time it if you guys would like to see um max crosby my dt 97 speed on the raiders theme team he what it, just a huge stop right there you know he gets to the money he got that contract extension i'm definitely gonna cop a jersey and this right here is what pace i want to play at right here you're gonna see me i have conductor on uh if you want to know my abilities i mean conductor heart master fearless and slinger two 1 ap post-ups and a backfield mismatch i'm gonna go at this high um you know pace right here going no huddle over and over again he actually plays really good defense right here, but once more, Cunningham, 98 speed, gets out to the left sideline and gets out of bounds. So my main goal right here is to get at the bare minimum three. We're not trying to give him this ball back, and we're not trying to give him any points, but we'll just see what ends up happening right here. We're going to be auditing to tight slots, halfback week. 
um in my opinion the second best formation in the game uh, behind bunch and we got two crossers right here man we're just trying to hit a crosser right here see what we're able to get and he screams crazy good pressure right there and you know i blocked the tight end i thought for sure i would have enough time but you know noah's dollar screams are different his db sting contain or excuse me his db sting blitzing linebacker uh blitzing corner off the left just comes in free but you know we're good we're good we're cool calm collected we're gonna max protect slide to the right and even though we don't have escape we're gonna try to throw this verticals wheel route dot he runs match i'm not too sure what happens with his match coverage but it doesn't matter we overthrow a wide open wheel route um that's just a you know that's just a staple play i've been running for so long nice easy concept you roll out to the wheel route side you could throw the verticals wheel route you know under those thirds or over those clouds right there he ran match and you know the match matched onto the streak i want to say so you know we overthrew it but it's all good we could convert right here we see him on aaron donald we try to sneak this in that was a dot but just even better user and i told you guys earlier in the game noah's user is probably the best user in madden right now and you know even if it's on aaron donald he's clicking on hit sticking making plays i'm pretty upset that i overthrew that pass right before that play but, you know, on that play, I can't be too mad. He just makes it the better play with his user. You know, I thought my click on was good right there. I do get kind of an unfortunate animation. animation, But, you know, Aaron Donald on that hit stick, like like I said, I can't be too mad. Kind of just got to laugh at some things and move on to the next play. Right here, Noah is going to be calling this tight end post slant post route combo. And he cooks me. I mean, I'm not too sure who that is. That looks like it's Jimmy Smith, number 82. Um i believe that is jimmy smith i could be mistaken but just like that he is up 10 points i like i said i do get ball a half but what is what a series of events the past minute you know hold, held um you know i dropped it pass i overthrew a dot and then he just goes up top for a bomb that ha i was you know i was i was expecting but he hadn't hit us with it yet and you know uh give it time and those post routes will start to get open especially versus cover zero can't be too mad right here we're gonna playmaker Devonte adams up and even noah's user isn't good enough to get back here um he had to choose between the post and the hitch he actually did creep down a little bit but you know he just was too far up and you know it's looking like we're gonna get three right here you know in my eyes i need seven i need seven to you know just pretty much match his seven that he just scored it's right here we actually have triangle or y whatever buddy you want to call it kind of open you know that was that inverted streak that was a complete mistake and complete accident ends up almost being a dot right here guys uh we're gonna hit this in route and we are just gonna take our three spike the ball take our three go into half down seven um sounds like a deal to me so you know first play out of half i ran the ball got like seven yards um pretty much just getting into a hash right there we are able to hit that out route so you know we've been all right we've been all right there's plays where noah screamed at us and played very good defense and there's play plays where you know we made good plays on our own so, you know, we're, we're liking the pace that it's at. We're not completely out of this game. Eventually, we are going to be able to need it. We're going to be able to, you know, try to get a stop. Um, but for now, let's just try to go down and get seven. And look at this gameplay, man. Like, this gameplay to me has been very smooth. None of us have escaped. Not saying, you know, like, we can't scramble. Both of us have had scramble opportunities. But that's how it should be, you know. No escape. Fair game. And right here, guys, don't just close your eyes, please i told you guys i'm done calling that play and just look at me bro i throw a complete and utter book right to isaiah simmons that's one thing you don't want to do if you play no is test his user and you know like i said earlier i'm done calling that play and believe me guys i will never call that play for the rest of you know the rest of eternity is right here this is looking like it's gonna be a flood he hits this angle route my pressure doesn't come in he starts to stun on me and I seen that. I think he stopped at the end. I don't know if he meant to do that or whatever it may be. But I seen that, bro. I seen that. And like MJ said, I took it personal. This is right here. It's go time. We hit a nice open verticals wheel route dot. I actually had R1 more open, I guess you could say. But I don't care, man. I'm on demon time now. I seen someone stun on me. It's it's time to go, man. You know, we're down a couple points. We got to get right right here we go back to the crosser that we had just seen get absolutely obliterated but i believe we are in conservative um and you know it's now or never um to this point in the game i low-key had you know the jitters you know you're playing a, a top tier defensive player you know and i don't have escape mind you i'm gonna have the jitters right and he's been screaming like crazy 
at this point like i said it's now or never um, i'm playing with the most confidence i have i have nothing to lose at this point i'm already down 14 points you know it's it's pretty much the game is almost over second second half two minutes left in the third and i'm playing one of the most notorious clockers in madden history right here great defense all around the board um i'm probably just gonna run and actually what i end up doing is throw a beam so i'm gonna have to rewind that maybe because oh my gosh i completely forgot what had happened on that play let's take a look at it again and this is why you rock post-ups man my two 1 ap post-ups go to work for me get pancakes on the right hold the blocks on the left we playmaker this guy back up Devonte adams hopefully that's what i see a lot of as a raiders fan next year Devonte adams toe drag swag i mean that was just a beautiful lob pass if i do say so myself we get ourselves back into a one possession game just look at that lob pass and he gets his feet in bounds and you know i did throw at his user but hey like i said i'm playing with confidence i made the right read lobbed it right over his user and we're going for two man we're trying to get our swag and our confidence back we're looking for Devonte adams once more on this out route and we get it he's blinking he has double me now it's go time let's get a damn stop he is gonna hit this wide open tight end great read so like i said man it's it's so tough to stop noah you don't know if the run is coming or the pass is coming Right there, he had Evan Ingram on that post, and I believe he has short and elite, so he absolutely torched the man coverage. Not that you need short and elite versus that for that post, but you know that pretty much ensured that I wasn't going to catch up to him or you know have my man glitch out. You know I do have Ted Hendricks, acrobat would have been insane. Right here, we play really good defense, and Money Max gets the sack. Uh, Max Crosby coming up huge right there. No post ups, and we're going to shed you with that send to look. That's what we did right there. He goes no huddle, which I'm kind of, you know, that's kind of sus if you ask me. He goes no huddle. He rolls out to this left, right side, and he just throws a book right back at me. So the book I threw earlier, I get it back. We hit a spin to the right side. Can we be out of there? We have one guy to make miss, and we just run out of stamina. Man, I need pick artists on my user pretty badly. But you see right there, Bernard Pollard. If you guys don't believe the hype, please buy into the hype. I'm, I'm telling you, bro. If you don't want to use him that's fine but have him somewhere on the field he hits hard bernard hit hard pollard have him somewhere on the field please right here guys we're going to be running a little bit of bunch trail we hit a that could have low-key been an acrobat i threw it a little late but um nonetheless we are going into the fourth quarter down by six points and you know we're, we're about to score man we're trying to get seven uh go up one point and play a little bit more defense right here guys we are going to be audibly to the bunch tight end Halfback off tackle with Eric Dickerson. I'm just trying to get a free seven, and that's what we are able to do. So some people have immaculate run defense down there, and some people, you know, they just don't get sheds right there. Thankfully, Noah didn't get any sheds, even though he was in 3-3-5 wide. I'll be the first to tell you, my red zone offense, it's kind of mid. It is kind of mid. Um, it's, you know, I don't know. Especially if I don't have escape, it is definitely kind of mid. But you know what's the easier way to do it than just running for a touchdown i mean that's the easiest way to do it i'm definitely going to find some more i form runs or something be a nerd and just make it easier on myself to score in the red zone my offense is i love my offense but when it comes to the red zone it could be a little sus so guys i kind of strategized right here um i didn't know if i wanted to onside kick for one i actually didn't know if onside kicking was allowed if you were up in the fourth and for two um, I just, you know, I didn't want to give him a free field goal. I feel like I've been playing really good defense. Um, even though he is notorious for clocking and this could be easy clockwork for him. I feel like I will be able to get a stop if we could just stop the run right here, run commit first down. I'm happy with it. You know, I'm fine with it. He ends up getting two yards, which is, you know, it's not the, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. If you know what I mean? Um, I would have loved to stop him for, you know, minus one, minus two, but it's all good. Next play right here. He is going to run the ball again. It's looking like a base or inside zone look. Um, he runs base and I missed the tackle. And that was such a huge tackle because, you know, it would have been a third and nine, third and 10. Ends up being a third and one. And, you know, I'm starting to low-key get scared. I'm starting to second guess my decision. If I should have onsided it, I'm thinking, dang, maybe I should have onsided it right here. Because he's going to hop in the gun, heavy Patriot. And has anyone ever seen defense for this? There's no defense for this, right? Like, there's no defense for this at all. I decided to stick into 325 normal and uh, you'll see why man you'll see why i hop on randy moss we're gonna run commit down because we have nothing to lose in this uh, scenario shift our d-line to the left side of the field and you know he kind of glitched out you know i'm not gonna take credit for that 
his guy kind of got in the way um but this right here he goes no huddle once more so i'm thinking maybe he might be passing right this might be a pass he might trick us into passing uh once more same type of defense nah bernard hit hard pollard shoots the gap 335 normal someone spamming that gun heavy patriot or you know trying to run it and seal the game hop in the 335 normal shift your d-line one way or another and just shoot a damn gap that's what we do right there and we are in the driver's seat somehow some way noah has sold this game uh he he had this game locked up bro he's up two possessions in the second half of madden 22 he throws a book uh and then you know i just shoot a gap with bernard pollard so bernard pollard has been the defensive mvp mvp of this game so far right here we're just trying to ice this game if we score seven we'll take it and oh man that was a close call he was low-key pi'ing our r1 receiver our slot receiver but i still make the good read i knew he was gonna peel off of that eventually and he did he did um and we have fearless for a reason we just deliver a strike that was still risky you know i could have thrown a pick as he was low-key caught up on my receiver but nonetheless we make the proper read and we move the chains right here he run commits and we get great yardage man that was the most beautiful thing ever a run commit and we still end up getting like nine yards right here we're going passive we go into goal line and you know i'm very happy with that because the thing is i get to take all this time right here i'm gonna no huddle and let this drip to one second because we are going to decide to dot out of goal line we have fearless we have backfield master excuse me mismatch and we just throw it no matter what we're throwing the wheel route we had tyree kill on the out route we had a streak on the field um it was just everything i felt like was you know everything was dialed up right there man it was a great play call in my opinion um and his user almost got there maybe if he had acrobat he would have made a crazy play but you know sometimes you just gotta take the risk right here guys honestly this is just a bold call i'm trying to catch him in a run commit and he actually doesn't run commit so we're just gonna sit here stand tall and take the sack right here guys just running the ball taking some time off um you know we're gonna take these last two timeouts and kick three try to get out of here with a win and you know we run the ball one more time we get it all the way down to 11 seconds this kick is going to take it to about eight ish about seven ish seconds and then the kickoff itself will you know take it down a little bit maybe but man i mean crazy comeback crazy comeback to say the least 18 unanswered points me and noah's games always go like this i feel like um not saying it's you know we've won yet but it's looking very very good to looking very very well and right here man he's just gonna call base spin to the right side leapfrog inside and that's gonna do it ggs in the chat man what a great game to noah if you did enjoy this video smash that like button and i'll catch you guys in the next episode this next fnf video i have is i'm gonna be playing alan gibbs my guy my crewmate you match up all the time um he's actually beating me twice in a row in these fnfs so we're going to try to get a re. Um, so like I said, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. FNF video. Uh, round four is going to be versus Alan Gibbs. Catch you guys then. Like always, guys, stay up. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.